be of the Lord, brethren and sisters. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, brethren and sisters, wherever you're watching this, good Lord, listening to me. I bring forth once again the word of grace unto you from this altar. And I decree by the authority of the word of God that the mercies of God will have expression even in your lives and all that concerns you, even this week and beyond in Jesus' name. Romans chapter 9, verse 15. Romans 9, 15, thus said unto Moses, For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. I will have mercy. The Lord said, Despite or perhaps in whatsoever that there has been your past, Whatever you have done wrongly, either in your bloodline, your bloodline, or your lineage, God say, I will have mercy. The mercy of God overrule errors and mistake and tradition. I say unto you, brothers and sisters, as you are listening unto me, whatsoever in your past, in your bloodline, that is militating, harassing you, shaking your establishment, the Mercies of God like praise you in Jesus' name. Hey, the error of your father or your mother that you are thinking as soon as you have accepted as a means of challenge to you by the mercies of God, I pray it is cancelled in Jesus' name. You all know Jacob to be a supplanter. You all know Jacob to be a man of no reputation, a thief for that matter. But the message of God changed his name from being a supplanter, from being a Jacob. I pray that message will come upon you. What you have known to be, what people call you in your power, I shake it by the message of God in Jesus' name. When doors have been closed against you by the error of your past, by the mistake of your past, when doors have been closed against you by the mercies of God, that door be opened unto you in Jesus' name. Bible tells me, and I say, according to his word in Revelation 3, 8, 7 and 8, he holds the key to the throne of David, whichever door God closed, no man can open, and whichever door God open, no man can open. And he said, I have opened doors unto you. Even when the door was opened against Jacob by his brother, he saw God say, he saw I hated, but Jacob I love at. The love of God will have the expression in your life. In the name of Jesus, it does not matter how your past has been or what your past has been. God is listening, telling you now that He is careful about your future and that your future will be glorious in Jesus' name. I push you by the mercies of God, even this week, to open door to where you think you cannot be, where you think you are not accepted, where you have been rejected. The mercies of God push you there, prepare you there. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every man or woman that want to stand against you, the Lord crush them, subdue them. By His mercy, you will walk over your enemies. In the name of Jesus, every mountain before you shall be pulled down by the mercies of God. In the name of Jesus, every promotion that I do to you, I command the announcement right now. In the name of Jesus, where you have gone for the interview, and you are not receiving any, any news. I say you will hear that good news by the mercies of God. You have been told by your doctor that you will not survive this time in the event. By the mercy of God, that time in the event is given way right now. Even to your son, by the good and longevity of life. In the name of you, have you been told you are barren, that you cannot bring forth a child? By the mercies of God, I break the yoke of barrenness and unfruitfulness in your life. In the name of Jesus, have you been held born or captive by the power of darkness? By the mercies of God, the hand of God that brought Israel out of Egypt, let that hand of God rest upon you and it locate you from your Egypt to your promised land. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Tarry in this perseverance until I come your way again. God bless you. It's your time to be announced.